Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to uh, configure a RAID 5 array on a 2016 virtual server in VMM. Uh, so the process works the same way in Hyper-V or VMM, same thing, essentially you have to put in three or more disks and then configure them into a, a RAID 5 array. Uh, so anyway, so uh, you can see here I'm on my uh, 2016 server. So let me take a look real quick and see what I have on there. Close Server Manager. If I go down to File Explorer uh, in this PC, you can see I've got a 75 gig C drive. I've got an ISO a disk in there right now. And I've got just a simple data drive, a 30 gig data drive. So we wanna set up some extra disks for our RAID array. Uh, so in uh, VMM, I'm gonna go over into VMM and I'm gonna right click on the server that I'm trying to do this on and go down to properties. In Hyper-V, you may do settings. Uh, same, same thing, you just need to go to where you can put some more disks. So then I'm gonna go to a uh, hardware configuration um, and you can see there's my 75 gig C drive, there's my disk, my uh, ISO drive, my D drive, and there's my E drive, my simple drive. So we need some more disks on here. So uh, we'll go ahead and go with three for this RAID array. So uh, what I have to do first is click on this SCSI adapter here, and then I can go up to new, uh, the plus sign, and say disk. So, uh, and it automatically populates with some, some basic info. Uh, I'm gonna knock the size down in half and go down to 20 just to make, make these a little smaller. So, so there's 120, I'm gonna go up to new disk, do another 20, and new disk, and do another 20. You can see over here on the left, uh, it's gonna start populating. If I hit okay, you can see those three 20s. So it's gonna take a second here. We have to let uh, VMM realize there was a change and uh, start making those changes. Uh, probably will just take a second. I'll pause just in case it goes a little slow and then I'll unpause when, uh, when it's done. All right, so it's finished up. So let me go back to my machine now. And um, so you can see nothing's in there. We have a few more steps still to go. So what you need to do to get to disk management so we can go configure those drives, <clears throat> the easiest way to do it is to right click on the start square down there at the bottom corner. So right click there and then choose disk management. So let me open up this screen. So you can see there's my C drive, my data drive. So now and I've got these extra uh, 20 gig disks down here. So what I'm gonna do in the little left square, I'm gonna go through each one. I'm gonna right click and say online. Uh, let's see, so I'll bring this one online. I'll bring this one online. All right, so those three are now online. So now I have to, you can see they say not initialized. So I'm gonna right click, uh, click and then right click on it again and say initialize disk. And this time we can do them all at once. So it sees this two, three, and four here, which you can see two, three, and four are the ones that I, I wanna choose. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and let it do a uh, GPT, uh, you know, a GUID disk. We don't need a master boot. We're, we're not trying to make this a bootable C drive or anything. So we'll leave that and say, okay. Uh, and you can see it's it's got all my disks now. They all show online. Uh, so uh, what you can do now is in this uh, area over on the right with the black stripes on it, you can right click on that. And then it gives you some choices, simple, span, stripe, mirrored, et cetera. So we wanna do a RAID 5 volume here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select new RAID 5 volume and it opens up the wizard. So then you can just go through here. I'm gonna click next on the wizard and it says, all right, which disks do you wanna put in? So I wanna put all three of them in. So we'll click on three, add it in and four, add it in. So now we're gonna put all four of those 20 gig drives uh, in there. So we'll hit next and then it, it needs a drive letter. So we'll, F is fine, the next one available. So that's fine, so we'll hit next. And then it has some choices here on how you want it formatted, et cetera. So uh, just whatever fits your needs here, I'm gonna say REFS for this, uh, the allocation size. I may be putting something big like backups or something like that, so I want big block size. And for this volume, I'll say um, uh, read, volume and, um, and I'll go ahead and say next and then it gives me a little summary here and I hit finish and it says oh uh, 
you, to do this, you're going to need uh, convert to convert these disks to dynamic. So you have to do it. So go ahead and say yes to that. And then now you can see it's it's changed it to a different color. If I scroll back up to other, you can see these other basic uh, disks are this darker color and this RAID 5 uh, that it's all now formatting is in this uh, light green uh, color. And you can see at the bottom down there, it even marks that these are RAID 5 volumes. So it uh, shouldn't take too, too long to format or depending on what size uh, disks, if you use three 500 gig disks, then of course it is going to take a, a little bit longer uh, and depending on the horsepower of your machine. I'll pause it while this finishes and then we'll go take a look at it. Okay, so my drive's finished formatting now and you can see they all show as healthy. Each one shows that it, it is that F drive now and it shows it up top here. Then a F drive is you know, at RAID 5. So if I go ahead and close this and I go back to Disk Manager, I mean to uh, File Explorer, now you can see I do have an F drive uh, here. And um, it's just like a regular drive uh, on, on my machine. And you can see we put uh, 320, so that equals 60 gigs. But one of the drive, remember, has to be for parity, so you lose a third of the space. So we really get 40 gigs usable. Uh, but it's the same. It's a normal drive. You can take data and uh, drop it into it, etc. cetera. Uh, and that's, that's it for uh, how to do a RAID 5 uh, array on a virtual 2016 server. Thanks a lot.